Got some bad news for you, noob noob. Is it more dead boys? They're all done detectiving because they've been canceled. That's right. I'm sure you are so sad to hear about a show you never watched. Or ever heard of. And is there a hot chick in it? <laughs> you never heard of it? Is there a hot chick? It is. I mean, yeah, there is. I'll show you them. And you can tell me what you think. It's a, There's also some fellas in it as well. It's associated with that um, other series that was on Netflix. The one with Dream... What? Uh, by the Neil Gaiman one. Oh, Dracula. No. No, not Dracula. Sandman. Sandman. That's right. It's it's in the same universe. Didn't that also get canceled? E not really. I think they're bringing it back for a second season. They, they want to let it grow on people, I guess. Because <laughs> it's been like people... It didn't do real good in the beginning. And then like it started getting more metrics later. And there's a pretty avid fan base. And they paid a lot of money for it. So I think they didn't quite can it. I heard there's a season two coming out. I will be watching it. I found parts of it to be cool. I think people were real pissed because they recast everybody. But this show, I did watch. I didn't watch all of it. So maybe that's why I got canceled because I did not make it through. Shall I regale you with the tales of dead boy detectives? I mean, I assume they were dead and they were people with male appendages and they detected. I don't know... I don't know 100% about all that, <laughs> but it was canceled after one season. Nobody cares. There was, you know, these two mostly straight, well, maybe not mostly straight, but... Were they dead gay ghosts? I mean, at least one of them <laughs> One of them was. Was there an entire episode of them just pounding each other and the, and the two girls are like, what's going on? I, I feel uncomfortable. Well, the one girl's alive and the other, like, not everybody can see ghosts. But she can see ghosts. And then the other girl learn how to see ghosts. And then they start detectiving because they don't want to go to hell or something like that. What? Yeah. Because the one kid's pretty old. I mean, for a dead ghost. So they're like evil people that are going to hell. And instead of that, they're like, we're going to be Scooby-Doo and solve mysteries for you. I don't think that, they're not going to hell for... They're going, the one guy's going to hell because he was sacrificed to a demon. Oh, shit. Yeah, he didn't like kind of, he didn't really choose that life. And the other guy, I think, was murdered. Because he was gay? Some, no, he was a straight one. Oh, the gay one was sacrificed to the yeah, demon. Yeah, it was originally going to air on Max. And then it got sold off to Netflix when Max was like, we're not taking on anything else. The characters were created by Neil Gaiman and Matt Wagner but did not fit with the new direction for Max DC content being spearheaded by James Gunn and Peter Safran. And Netflix was part of the Sandman universe because they used the same girl who played Death, which is kind of annoying. She's not really... You know, like the... What do they call that? The the goth pixie fanboy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who Death is in the actual comic books, but they recast her with like some black chick. Oh, I, I remember that. We did a story on that. Yeah, so people were real mad about it. But uh, yeah, these uh, it, it it was it was very show it was episodic it was very much like mystery of the week, which was fine. I actually, kind of like that direction, but uh, it just didn't capture my attention. The only good Neil Gaiman thing is Lucifer. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. Lucifer was a great show. Yeah. And then everything else, they're like, yo, did let's... Did it fall apart? Uh, it kind of, yeah, it did. Yeah. But it, 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 it fell apart, and then it got picked back up once it went on Netflix. So it ended strong. Uh, so, but then I guess Netflix was like, oh, let's take advantage of all of Neil Gaiman's properties, and they all sucked. They And they way overpaid him, yes. Yeah, so... Well, it, Good job, Netflix. It opened up relatively well. It was on the Netflix Top 10 English TV charts for three weeks. Peaked at the number two spot for the week of April 22nd through the 28th, but just managed 3.1 million views his first three days. And then dropped to number three in its first full week. Uh, but the totals rose to 4.7. And then it dropped to 1.8 views in week three before falling off the top 10 chart. It did well with critics. It wasn't a bad show. It just didn't really catch my attention. I think I watched like three episodes and there might've been like 10 I was like, that's 
That's too many. Yeah. Dumb. I think each episode was too long. So, on another unfortunate Netflix, what do you want to call it? Like, just Netflix not giving anything a chance to grow. I'm sure the show didn't cost anything. There wasn't a ton of special effects in it. And some of them looked practical, which I thought was cool. You know, they had like some demon they were trying to get rid of. And the demon uh, was like just like a twisty person, you know. Sure. In like a suit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying. They should have just brought hot Lucifer into this and it would have been saved. Because Lucifer's hot. (laughs) That's all you care about. They only even saved that for one season. They didn't even bring it back for a full thing. Right? They only gave it one extra season. No, two. Two. Oh, they gave it two extra two. seasons? Yep. Well, they and that's part of the Neil Gaiman world? It is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that Lucifer's, didn't they recast a different Yeah, that shape? was stupid. Yes. Didn't they recast? Isn't it Gwendolyn? Uh... Yep, and that's where it went downhill. Yeah, it was bad. They should have brought little. That character was Lucifer from the TV show. And, and they, then they could have had them be gay together. Yes. And they just blew Absolutely. that Absolutely. Wow, we could have just... This deserved to be canceled now in retrospect. This show? The show had nothing to do... You mean the It was still connected to the gay man that ruined Lucifer. (laughs) By by casting Gwendolyn Christie. Yes. Who hasn't acted it. Has she acted in anything else? She was just Lucifer and lesbian Game of Thrones girl. Gotcha. Well, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. I know we always do something when it gets canceled. I'm not rooting for this one to come back. I just feel like it was unfairly written off before it got a chance to even. This is not going to get snow piercered and get brought back. I, that's taken like 10 years. and I think It is it's currently back. on and I have not watched it. <laughs> Didn't even watch it. You made all that big of a deal. Never you watched season all four. all of those petitions. Nope. Did nothing. Didn't even bother to watch it after you were like king of their fan club. Huh? Maybe I'll get to it. One day. Yeah, just like Black Sails 10 years later. Yeah. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. Cancel too soon? Cancel just right? Do you want to see the Sandman come out? Let us know. And uh, <clears> in the meantime, take a, take a chance. Thank you for watching, but join the channel. So, like, subscribe, do all those things. We're eking so much closer to breaking 2,000 subs. We'd really appreciate your help because every little drop helps. Helps feed starving noob noobs. Anyway, I'm the man you may know as he. He's noob noob, but we are on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.